Um, we're going to take about 10, 15 minutes of question and answer, and then we want you to patronize the great business that's here because of you. Uh, I'd like to ask uh, Andrew Amalda, Sheikha, and uh, the sisters that offer the product so they can get to know you. Will you please stand? And on this side, we got our brother Patrick and all the vendors. Please stand so that um, they can acknowledge you. You did a lot, you've been here since 6 o'clock. So we want to make sure that they will patronize you. At this time, we'd like to bring last but not least, um, because when you talk about investing in Africa, you got to invest in your health, because your health is your true wealth. You have to come here and learn how to eat the food that's going to give you life, not the food that's going to give you strife. Dr. Asari has been on this path with me for about 15 years, teaching health and wellness. We've done about 10 health and wellness conferences in Ghana, and we're about to make history this November. We're going to Liberia to do our first annual health and wellness conference in Monrovia in November. So put it on your schedule. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to be brief. Because like some of you who have attended my workshops in America, you know I can talk for about three hours without break. <laughs> um, I remember in the, some of you from California, you know the Christ Unity Temple? Yes, that was first time I broke out the news that eating cooked food was a dangerous thing in the medical system but it is in all the medical world. What I want to say is that when we talk about health, we are not talking about printed certificates. We are talking about workable science. Most of the times, when we talk about science, people have been made to believe the lie that science is tied to a laboratory. No. Science just means observation, experimentation, and verification, right? It has been in Africa for thousands of years. Most of the things that are being learned today are from practical experience. You cannot tell me that many have been used for more than 2,000 years. It is not authentic until it has been tested on rats for three weeks in a laboratory. How many of you have the genes of a rat? <laughs> You know, you are going to be introduced to the real preventive health of the world when you come here. I've been having a few lessons. I have this book. You can go on palmahealth.com, those who will get mine. I have about 200 formulas, but this is the only help I'm bringing here because we are not here just to make sales. We are here to save lives. And my information is basically on training. There is a lot of knowledge you can learn here. Look, the medical system will bring a lot of machines to test you and they call that preventive health. That's not true. If somebody tests you to find what is wrong with you, he's detecting what is wrong with you. He's not preventing it. Because prevention means you are having either prophylactics or the knowledge that will stop whatever will happen to you from happening. And that has been the real African way of life. Yeah. Right? We have the real science of living here, including emotional health. We laugh a lot. We play with one another. A lot of people are having depression because they are lonely in the crowd. You can be among a lot of people who are looking down on you and therefore you are not happy. So you are in the crowd and you are still lonely. Is that not true? Yeah, true? So we want you to come to the crowd that will receive you. Oh. You will have the good food that you have to eat. Look, if you are an African, originally African, your DNA recognizes the food, the medicine, the health, the plain models and the protocols that will make you healthy is locked up in that DNA. So I have something I've been saying when I come to America. I say, activate 
your longevity check. No matter where you are in the world, your DNA recognizes the right foods you have to eat and the right herbs you have to do. So don't be deceived. Some of you can even have a lot of illnesses. I tell you, just relocating can add tens of years to your life. If you invest in everything, you have all the money, but your hands are so weak to take it, you have not invested. You have invested in everything, and you cannot talk freely, you have not invested. You are here, and I'm happy there are a few people talking about health. Come, tie your aprons to ours. We are going to give our people the help that they really need. Because for your information, every race, every society, every group have their own way of life. Health. We have Chinese herbal teas. You heard that? You have Indian Ayurvedic system. Yes. How many black people have learned about African traditional health care as a way of life? You are welcome to that. You may buy my book here or you can buy it online. It is not mainly about the book. It's about the lot of children and grandchildren that are going to follow us. Yes. Because we are not going to live here forever. But some of us envision an Africa without boundaries. Whether in Jamaica, Barbados, on the continent, or in America, in Canada, or in Britain, an Africa beyond the physical boundaries that our grandchildren who see us as the saints that have led the foundation. Be a part of it. You are welcome. Five questions, and then after the five questions, then we're going to allow everyone to get to know each other as we close.